Good morning, guys. And um, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna notice that I'm not talking to you guys face to face right now. And that is because I brought my camera and my head mount, but I didn't bring my batteries. And thankfully I had a power bank in my car and a cord that goes from the power bank to the GoPro. So I'm wearing a power bank on my head along with the camera in the head mount. Um, here's a picture of what I'm recording with today. I'm dedicated to recording this. These people drove um, about 45 minutes to an hour to to come to me. Their, their girl is, I don't want to get her age wrong, but maybe around 10. And she was actually the one that watches my videos on YouTube and was just extremely excited to meet me and you know I just let them know hey you know she's my first kid that's come in that watches my channel and um, she was just ecstatic and they want me to film the dog so I'm gonna film the dog it's gonna be a good video too and so first things first if we can come on we're gonna get her up on the scale come up here come up here come up here come on up here come here Come on, girl. Come on. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. And come up here. Come on. Come on. Let's go over here. Come on. There you go. Stay, 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 stay. Um, we about 125 pounds. Okay. Come on, girl. So we're doing the full nine yards today. If we need haircut. We're gonna do haircut, but we're gonna start with bath first. Probably gonna be some undercoat removal going on. This'll be fun, let's see how this goes. Can you get up here? Come on, come on, come on. Okay, so she got out of this. Come here. Come here, you're okay. All right, so it's another reason we want these tight, but not so tight that it's choking them. And so I'm gonna walk her over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, up, 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 up. Yeah, come on, easy girl, easy girl. All right, so I'm just going to turn my head to the side and then come on. Yeah, get up there. Come on. Come on. Get up there. There you go. Good girl. Whew. All right. Sorry, guys. Can you stand up? Come on. Come on. There you go. You got to stand up. I didn't know what color the dog was gonna be, so I'm gonna use this black shampoo. Did one for extra measures. Gonna take this, put this lid on. Give it a good shake. Take it off. This is a bathing system. I'm just gonna turn it on, get the water warming up, and then I'll, whoops, talk a little bit about what we're gonna do. So, there is some matting back here. Um, but the rest of this feels pretty good. And we're gonna have to shave this, but I'm gonna go ahead and get her bathed. There's no matting up here. There is some, um, you know, skin flaking, which is, you know, just from, could be from not being bathed enough, not brushed enough. There's a lot of reasons that could cause, you know, the coat to, the skin to do that. So we're just gonna move this to an appropriate temperature. And then we're gonna get started. 
We want it about the same temperature that we use for ourselves. If you use extremely hot water, just be mindful and don't use extremely hot water on your dog. So I'm just gonna start by getting her wet. I have to be careful today um, with the camera getting wet because it's not closed because it's got the power bank going to it. So if she starts shaking, I'm gonna have to get back. Just want to get all of her wet. Really soak the coat in there. So I get questions, you know, do you have people come from far away? You can see all that dirt that's coming off. That's, that's a lot of dirt coming off. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. And that's just with the bathing system. I haven't even started scrubbing her yet. Just to get that dirt started soaking. But I get asked a lot, you know, do you have people come from far away? And, you know, I think the, you can see all that dirt, even, you know, just going like this. I have people come you know, I've had people come from two or three hours away just to come to me. And you know, that's not feasible for every time. You know, unless your dog's like a, you know, you're only doing your dog every six months or so, but. This is my only dog today. For some reason, I just didn't have a lot of dogs scheduled today. The rest of the week, I've got about five dogs a day. Um, so it's kind of nice to just have one dog and take it slow and I take my time anyway, but just to be able to slow down even more is nice. So if your dog is mad at I'm doing something you shouldn't be doing, do not bathe your dog if your dog is mad at the mat should be shaved out first, but I'm going to shave this dog down anyway because that's what they requested. So, I just like to start with the upper body, at the top of the body, and then work my way down with the soap. And I probably will have to make another gallon of shampoo, because I'm already halfway through this one. With little bitty dogs that aren't super dirty, I can, usually wash four or five dogs with one gallon of diluted shampoo. Big dogs like this, I may go through one or two gallons of soap, which is, you know, the equivalent of four to eight little dogs. So the big, the big dogs take quite a bit more shampoo and soap. I'll do her head in a minute. We do it last. If you do it first, it will cause the dogs to shake the entire time you are bathing them. I can still see just dirt just coming out. this flow over the dog a little bit saturate that coat again hope you guys can see this okay I won't know until I go to edit it so when she's drying um, I'm gonna put this power bank on the charger it's quite a bit of Tried poop back here. Just gonna work at it for a minute. Try to get all that off. Try to get that as clean as we can. Okay, 
So I'm almost out of soap for this side. I'm just gonna continue to scrub. And then we'll turn her in just a minute. So I'm going to turn this to rinse, or what is called rinse on here, and then I have another empty gallon over here. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with water. Guess this one was not rinsed out very well. Okay. And then we're gonna take this again. And if you guys didn't see um, the, I think it was two videos ago, how I explained why I label these the way I do. This is labeled for when I got it, when I received it or slash, you know, bought it. This is how many pumps go into one gallon of water for diluted shampoo for my specific bathing system. You know, if a dog is dirty or I think they're extra dirty, I might do, um, you know, one, two, three extra pumps of, of shampoo in there. And then I just shake it up, get it mixed thoroughly. Might have to dump some out. So when I set it down, it's not overflowing. And then that's how we make new shampoo. I'm just going to turn her. If she'll turn this way. And then again, we're just going to wet this side all over since it's been sitting there dry. And then we'll start scrubbing. See that discoloration coming out of there. I wish, you know, the, um, there you go. You can see all that coming out. See all that dirt. I wish I had a, I had like a collection tank, like the car detailers do. And I could show you guys the dirt, um, you know, that I get out of some of these dogs. This dog is one of the dirtier dogs that I've done in a while. I just wanna get all that cleaned out of there. You're okay, girl. Just wanna keep, keep Rinse and washing this until you know it runs clear slash white. Yes, it's matted back here, but we're gonna shave it anyway. Come up here, neck area. Um, I am gonna use conditioner on her. She is her coat's pretty dry. Hey, 
sweet girl. can see all the dirt coming off the head. This girl is going to feel so much better. She reminds me of a dog that my parents had. Um, just bigger. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna rinse. Start with the head so you can squeegee all the water out and then not, you know, less likely chance of shaking. Show you guys how I make conditioner and then we are going to see if we can get out some of this coat if there is any loose undercoat it may just be coat but we'll see and stand up good girl Nope, nope, we're not doing that. So I'm just going to get all of her coat wet and then I'm going to take that shampoo and dump it out. And then I'm just gonna fill this with water real quick. Can you come back over here, you come back over here, come here. No. I would say this dog is, you know, I'm not a vet, hasn't had a DNA test done. I'm just using an educated guess um, that this dog is at least part chow and lab. Um, from the spotted tongue, the shape of the head, the size of the dog. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, do I not have one open? Huh. I guess I don't have one open. This one's been opened. Looks like, maybe not. Cause I'm just gonna take, nope, it hasn't been open. So today is April 27th. Um, March 1st is when we started allowing clients to come in again. So I wasn't, you know, I'm not stuck having to go out to their car. And so if you guys saw in the last video of the cleaning video, there were some comments about that and, you know, um, all of my videos I record are usually uploaded within a week unless I'm, you know, on an editing kick and then it might be, you know, a month or two out that they're scheduled. So it just depends. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. You got to get up. Okay. So I'm just going to dump this over.
And that is going to just run down and get all over her coat. Okay. And then just real quickly, I'm gonna see if we'll get anything out. And there's a little bit, but I don't think it's undercoat removal, you know, worthy. Um, this, this little bit of hair will come out with the high velocity dryer. So I'm just gonna let this water run over her and get all that excess conditioner out. We want a lot of it to stay in her coat. So just going to let that run over, get all the excess off. The reason I'm not rubbing it is I want the majority of it to stay in because her coat is dry. So I'm not rubbing it. Okay, so then I'm gonna take my hands and I'm just going to squeegee all this water out because if you don't and you go in and you just start using towels, you're gonna be using a lot of towels. And I'm not gonna use towels on this girl. We're just gonna start with the high velocity dryer. Oh my goodness, if I can. So, this is the high velocity dryer I use. It's a Challenge Air um, and it, it, I've had some questions about the temperature, the air temperature. It starts off cold and then it goes to warm. It never gets hot.
drying cage. Hopefully this is still recording. Come on. J. 
gentle, careful, careful, careful. There you go. Come on. This may be a little tricky. Come on. Come on. Easy. Easy, girl. There you go. So I'm gonna get her dry, and then when she's dry, we'll, we'll get her all finished. Okay, so I'm a little out of breath. It took me about 10 minutes to get this dog up here. Um, I actually cut my hand on the clip trying to get her up here. So I'm a little out of breath and a little frustrated. Um, mind you, she, she is, you know, what was it, 125 pounds, um, which is probably about twice as much as she should weigh. And you can see back here, those big old mats that were back here, um, the high velocity dryer actually got some of that out. So we're just gonna start by brushing her. see all of that loose hair in there some of this is gonna have to be cut out like this is a mat but um, just want to brush out what I can can't remember if I said it or not, you know, I've, it's been almost two hours that I've had this dog, um, but these owners are going to let me film their reaction. I know a lot of y'all have been wanting owner reactions, but a lot of dog owners do not want to be on camera. They're okay with their dog being on camera, but they don't want to be on camera. And so, you guys will be able to see that. And the, the owners of this dog watch my channel, so they know that I'm not speaking directly toward them or... Um, you know, saying anything negative toward them. I just want to, you know, this is to educate the public about how to care for dogs. And I just want to mention that when a dog is this significantly overweight, um, it can be extremely difficult and hard on them to be groomed. Just because they're having to stand, they're having to get in and out of, you know, on and off tubs and, and tables. So this will be cut. We are just going to get started. This is a five in one, if you guys didn't see the other video. So you'd go over here, it's a nine, 10, 15, 30, 40. So we're gonna leave it on the 30. Just going to. I'll let you guys know how much I'm charging for this um, at the end. 135 pound dog, full groom. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. Um,
can see how much this dog is panting. Um, it's not because she's thirsty. It's because she's anxious. You know, it's it's a it's a new place. And go to the nine. I don't like like a nine blade in the actual blades, but this one is I like. We're just gonna come in here and clean all this sanitary area up. Okay, let's see all that. <sighs> okay, get the regular clippers. Um, they didn't want her shaved, they just wanted a haircut. So to, to determine the length, I'm gonna have to see how long I can keep it back here since there is matting back here and then we can work on the body. So this is a 30. I'm gonna start with a 5 8. Um, they said last time the dog was shaved, it was not by me. This is the dog's first time to come to me. Um, but last time the dog got sunburned. So, we want it long enough to where the dog is not going to get sunburned. This red coat can be from sun bleaching if the dog is outside a lot. It's gonna take a, take a few passes to get this even. It's just a very dense coat. One thing is that when you trim a dog's coat, it is not necessarily making them cooler. Um, a lot of dogs have a double coat and that actually helps keep them cool. I know science is weird and that doesn't make sense, but that's how it works. And you know, dogs with double coats such as Huskies and you know, Alaskan dogs 
should not be in Oklahoma where during the summer it's 110. If you do have one, then you need to keep them inside. Okay, some of this is still a little damp. Um, it's fine, it'll dry. But she was in the cage dryer for an hour. Go back some and it won't be doing that. Okay, I had put this here so she could, she wasn't slipping when I had to pick her back legs up. Um, but I'm just going to take all this and put it in the trash can. Nope, I gotta stand up. Yeah, stop pulling. This allows me to see the leg better. I'm nervous, you know, raising her up any higher. So I'll just sit to do this. I use the metal combs, the metal guards. I've tried the plastic ones. I don't like them. They don't do as well, perform as well. Giving my left hand a break for a minute. Just cause it's tired. Even though my right hand I'm not very good at, I can always go back over it with my left hand. So I probably should go down a blade since this is having a hard time cutting this, um, but I really don't want to go down any shorter. Would you guys like ASMR videos where I'm not talking, I'm just doing what I need to do to groom the dog? Girl, if you scoot back, you won't do it, you won't be doing that. You're pulling, scoot back. Scoot back a little bit.
So the reason I mention dogs' weight is because it is relative to their overall health. And grooming is part of, you know, taking care of a dog and, and maintaining their health. And so when a dog comes in and I can see that they're overweight, I'm going to mention it because it's, again, it's part of the dog's overall health. So, you know, my profession may be a dog groomer and not a vet, but, you know, I feel it's my duty to mention if a dog is overweight or not for the health of the dog. Oh my gosh, I've been calling this girl the whole time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guys, it's so bad. Like, I do it all the time. I, I assume the dog's gender and get it wrong. You shouldn't assume gender. You don't in humans. So you can see it's a little choppy. Um, that's, it's okay. This this is a double coat. So unless I go under that, the, what I call the first coat, it's gonna be choppy because I'm cutting in the middle of the two coats. So there's the, the bottom coat and then there's the top coat. And that's how you get a double coat. And this dog is double coated. So when I go and cut it, it's not gonna look 100% because I'm cutting in the middle of the two coats. If I cut to the skin, it wouldn't be choppy, but the owners don't want that. So we're gonna do what we can. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wall. Again, it's on the nine setting, and I'm just going to Let's <laughs> clean this up a little bit. Okay, um, because this dog is big, you know, size-wise, I am going to go ahead and take care of the stuff on this side of the body before I go over to the other side. So we're gonna get some nail clippers, some scissors, and um, a shorter guard. So first things first, to look at these nails. So 
really not a bunch to do. So I'm just going to switch this out. We're gonna go down to this red one. No, we're not. We're gonna go down to the blue one. Just clean this up a little more. Okay. Put this one back on. Groomers can be really hard on themselves. Um, like when I look at this, you guys may say, oh, that looks, that looks great, that looks fine. But, you know, to a groomer's eye, I may sit here and be like, oh, well, that's not good, and that's not good, and that's not as good as it can be. And, and, and it's, um, but we just have to remember that, you know, owners look at the whole picture. They're not sitting there looking at, oh, well, they miss that, and they miss this little bitty hair, and this little bitty hair, and um, we just have to remember that clients see the whole picture. They don't just see this or that when it comes to grooming, especially if, you know, you're making sure that you're trimming the nails and, and doing everything like that that you're, that you're supposed to be doing. so ridiculous with this setup I have on today because I forgot my batteries but you gotta do what you gotta do to record so I'm starting to get a headache from having this on here oh my goodness Okay, so they came in looking for a groomer and I just told them, hey, I'm booked until the beginning of June. And, and they were like, yeah, everywhere I've called is like that. So I just explained that here right now, at least in Oklahoma, we're limited on groomers for some reason. Uh, there's people that are looking to hire and there's no one to hire. And, and it's just, um, you know, if you want your dog to be groomed, I mean, you got you to gotta schedule four to six weeks out at least. It's, it's pretty, pretty limited right now. I think this side's looking pretty good. Um, easy. 
I want to get get this done quickly, but I don't want to hit any quicks. Easy. And I don't want her falling off the table. Hey, 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 hey. Easy. feet up. All right. This girl is looking, boy, oh my gosh. People ask me when I go like that if I'm feeling for private area, and yes, um, you know, if a dog has super long coat or is, is overweight, sometimes you can't tell um, if, if it's a boy or a girl unless you feel, so. All right, so if he will turn, I will turn, but I don't want to have to get him up on the table again. So I'm just going to take all this stuff and just put it over here real quick, get it out of the way. Come on. Whoa, 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 no, 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 we're not doing all that. Turn. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys stand up. You can't lean on me. Stand up. Stand up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh. That's a workout just by itself. Okay. So now we can. Just a second, guys. Okay, I just wanted to look and see how much this groom is. Um, this dog weighs 125 pounds, and this groom is $150. Had it been, you know, under 100 and uh, I think it was under 120, it would have been 120. Um, my my prices are going to go up pretty soon, just because, you know, and I'm not I'm not saying this to sound cocky or anything like that, but I have had such a huge increase in clientele from YouTube um, that I'm going to have to raise my prices. So. The ones, you know, that I have to work smarter versus working harder. Uh, right now, you know, I'm booked until I think the first week in June, and it's not even May yet. And I have no spots available. until then, so it's just... So when you're using a garter comb, you have to go over the coat multiple, multiple times. 
for it to look right. You may have to fluff it up a little bit and then go back over it. Um, a lot of people will back brush it like that and then go over it. And it's also gonna depend on the dog's coat of what you need to do for it to look right. Not sure what to do with the tail yet. I'll probably just leave it and then blend, blend it. So this is, you know, this is obviously a dog that I was able to keep most of the coat on. The reason I do a lot of shave downs is I, this is not a shave down, this is a haircut, but the reason I do a lot of shave downs with a 7 or a 10 is because a lot of the times dogs will come in matted. And it is, in my opinion, in my business, it, I believe it is inhumane to sit there and demount a dog and cause them pain because the owner cannot brush out their coat. Um, I won't do it. I won't cause unnecessary pain to a dog. I think it's inhumane and it's just, it's not right. I cannot sit there and undo you know eight to twelve weeks of matting in one session and then have them come back again and the dog be matted again i won't do it it's not fair to the dog i believe you know as a groomer we are here to go by the owner's wishes as long as it's not harming the dog um, you know, if you're a groomer and you're watching this and you demat, you know, you do you. But I'm going to do me and my business, and that's why I do so many shave downs. My motto is humanity over vanity. You can see, even though I've already gone over this about 10 times in spots, I'm still getting that longer hair off.
Yeah. Turn that off real quick. Get the Arco and just turn this up a little bit more on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the blue one, which is a three eighths. And we're just gonna blend this a little bit better. table off real quick. We'll do up there in a minute. I just want to get this leg done real quick and then we'll trim the feet and the nails. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to the blue. <sighs> Hear that squeaky noise? Tells me, hey, I need oil. Don't wanna put too much.
because it will make the coat oily. Okay, get my nail clippers. No, 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 no. Easy. Okay. Put this over there. Take my scissors. Okay, so now I'm going to, I know I'm not done yet, but I'm gonna take some Shoshin. But the dog looks so much better, so much better. And then, See when I brush the dog, most of those lines go away. I'll turn back there some more.
Okay. So much better. A lot of you have suggested that I do before and after pictures at the end of the video. Guys, sometimes I just, I get so busy and wrapped up in, in work that I even forget to take pictures. Um, and then I'll like think of it afterward when I've already saved it to the external hard drive and this and that. And um, yeah, guys, I do, I do what I can. You guys can check out the Rover's Makeover Instagram page. I do a lot of before and afters over there. Yeah. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so now, can you sit and sit? Don't lay down, just sit. So we're gonna take this, um, I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna take this off. And I just, I really don't wanna jump it off, so. Just gonna do how we can. So here's what I'm gonna do. No, 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 no. It's just, I gotta finish going around this real quick. Okay, so put this back on here. Just move it to this little one.
So why am I sitting when I do this? Well, I don't want to raise her up because there is a fall risk. And I don't want to have to have back surgery when I'm 45 years old. Um, just a minute, guys. Okay. gonna do the best we can because that's all we can do stand up stand up 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 stand up Okay, so now is when I'm just gonna go over and see if I see anything that needs to be fixed or whatever. some more She looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check the, I'm gonna unplug this because I'm gonna end up tripping over it. We got some cleaning to do, you guys. Okay, these are cotton rounds. I'm gonna take at least four of them. Ear cleaner. Do not use anything besides ear cleaner, please. No water, alcohol, none of that. Oof. Yum. Uh, 
Okay, they're not as bad as I thought. It's just, it's just dirt. There's no yeast or bacterial infection. They're just dirty, just need to be cleaned. Get some more. I like to soak mine. all that earwax and stuff off that um, is pretty close to looking like a bacterial infection that dark really dark <coughs> yeah almost black um, Okay, I'm not going down to the eardrum. The ear canal on a dog is L-shaped, so as far as I can go down with my finger is not anywhere near the ear canal. So we're gonna come over here and get a light colored bandana because the dog is black. Stand out better. So this dog is 125 pounds and you can see that the extra or the, the large bandanas fit just fine. Okay. So just gonna spray with some doggy cologne and then we're just gonna run over with the brush. One more time. And then she'll be ready to go. I'm not gonna put her back in a cage cause that was a challenge. And so she, he, sorry guys. So they can just walk around. Okay. So think they look much much better legs are trimmed yeah much better all right so here is the final overview Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. You gonna get up? Hi. Is my taker man in here? Hi. That's not the same dog. <laughs> I would keep an eye on the what? right ear. This one? The one on the far side. This one? Yep. Yep. Is it infected? It's not infected. I would just keep an eye on it. Well, fingers, no. <laughs> this isn't our dog. <laughs> That's what she said. Wow. <laughs>
Tinker, you look so cute. You look like a young dog. He's made of paws. Oh, oh, there's no more furry neck. So was he a chore? Um, yes and fun. no. It was, there was some difficulty getting in the tub and, and uh -huh. getting up on the table. Uh -huh. But as far as, you know, grooming wise, no, not, not very much. He was tolerant? Yeah. Right on. Yeah. There's no more tinkers. Huh? Hello. Oh, you look so Did you fill up a whole trash bag? <laughs> uh, probably about half. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how much did you shave off? Did you weigh it? I didn't. Uh, it wouldn't weigh that much just because it wasn't like 10 super pounds? matted. Yeah. Probably. It wasn't super matted? <laughs> well. Um, <laughs> it was just more dirt. It was years and years. It looks great. Thank you. It looks really, really cool. He's probably a skin. pound, pound and a half of fur. Really? That's yeah. it? Wow. Mm -hmm. Are you happy they came back? <laughs> anyway, wow. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah. Did he bring his leash in? Yep. I was saying just to keep an eye on this this ear on this side. The growth? Um, it was just, or just it may here. be on the verge of getting infected, um, but I don't think it is. The ear? Yeah. All right. Yep. Any text? Did you find any text on there? Nope. I thought that's good. Nope. We're square. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. Thank you.